babies! Uh, I'm so excited about today's tutorial because this will be the first look in my Monster High series uh, and I asked you guys in my previous video which character you wanted to see next and right now as I'm filming this it has only been 12 hours since I uploaded the video and in that time uh, most, of you, most of you requested a Claudine look so that's what I'm going to take inspiration from today so on the lid I've drawn a fun pink cheetah print I've used purple on the lower lash line and in the crease and then along my winged liner I've applied some yellow rhinestones to represent her belt uh, by the way, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A video, because I've gotten some requests to do that and I understand if you guys want to get to know me a little bit better so yeah, if you have any questions for me, just leave them down below and I'll answer some of them in an upcoming video uh, but now, let's get started creating this look. To make the eyeshadows stay in place all day and to prevent them from creasing, I'm applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion here I'm cutting my crease using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I'm drawing it right above my natural crease. Then I'm going back, connecting that with the outer corner of the eye. Now I'm filling in the entire lid with that white base. Then I'm blending it out to prevent creasing. On top of that, I'll be applying this pink shadow called Strawberry Sherbet from the Sleek Eye Candy Palette. I'll be going along the cut crease using this purple shadow by Inglot in number 386. Then I'm feathering that color upward. I'm taking a clean fluffy pencil brush, bringing it back and forth, blending everything out. To blend even more, I'll be using this light purple by Makeup Geek called Visteria. For my brow bone highlight, I'll be using this eyeshadow called Ting from the first Louise Young palette. Then to darken up that cut crease, I'm going to go in with this dark purple by Makeup Forever in number 92. And I'm also going upward with this one. Along my lower lash line, I'll be applying this eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. As an inner corner highlight, I'll be using this shimmery white eyeshadow by Sugar Pill called Diamond Eyes. To line my eyes, I'm using the L'Oreal Superliner in Carbon Gloss and I'm starting by drawing a thin line closest to the lash line. I'm winging it out and then I'm gradually thickening up the liner so that I get enough room for the rhinestones. I'm using that same L'Oreal liner on Sugar Pills liner brush to start drawing the cheetah print and I'm just drawing some random lines going out from the cut crease and also from the winged liner.
Along the liner, I'm now going to apply these yellow rhinestones. I'm using this House of Lashes eyelash glue to make them stick. Then I'm applying them on top with a toothpick. I'm filling in my waterline using Inglos Black Gel Liner in number 77. And I'm setting it with this eyeshadow called Black Bear from the Louise Young palette. Now I'm applying the Maybelline 1x1 One One mascara. For false lashes, I'll be using these Ardell ones. This is the completed eye makeup. Okay, so on to the face makeup. Uh, I'm first going to do some contouring using this shade right here and it's from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and I just got this in the mail today and I'm so excited to finally have it because I've been wanting it for I think it's been out for a year I don't know maybe longer but uh, it just came to Norway and I found it online about a week ago and I had a discount code so I of course had to get it. So this will be the first time that I'm going to try the bronzer so yeah I'm excited. <laughs> okay now let's see how this looks like. Wow that actually really shows up. Especially compared to my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and the NARS Laguna bronzer, that's the two bronzers I have. And this one shows up a lot more, but not, not in an orange kind of <laughs> hard way, but a very soft, natural way. And I really like it, I think this might be my new favorite, we'll see. And for blush, I'll be using Down Boy by The Balm. It's a light pink that I think would go great with this look. Then for my highlight, I'm going to try this shade right here. It's a little bit shimmery while the other two are matte. So I'm going to try this as a highlight. That looks... whoa, that's shine. What? Okay, I, I like that one. <laughs> okay, so for my lips, I just thought I'd go all matchy-matchy and just use this pink lipstick by MAC in Candy Yum Yum. I hope that you liked this Claudine Wolf makeup look. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time for another Monster High inspired look. Bye bye!